Whoa, that's a fun look. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Crystal. Nice to meet you. In today's video, I am going to be trying out the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. Ooh, you can't even see it. How pretty is that? Um, it's actually very, very pretty. I think I got this in BoxyCharm, maybe? Boxy Lux, Boxy something. Some kind of boxy, I think. So this is, that's just, it's upside down, but you get the idea. That is the Rose Gold Palette. Upside down, but still very pretty. Um, I'm wearing red, so I'm gonna try and do something with red today. Probably red and black. Ooh, man Eater and Black Truffle. Probably throw some pink diamond in there if I'm feeling spunky. So let's get to it. Since we're just focusing, since we're just focusing on eye palette, eyeshadow palette today, man, I can't speak. Since I am just focusing on the eyeshadow palette today, there we go. I'm going to just do my eyebrows and set my eyes and everything off camera. I'll do the eyeshadow look on camera, finish my face, and then come back and voila. Okay, yep, let's do that. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Done. Now, if you're wondering what I put on my eyebrows, which I don't know why you would, but um, in case you are wondering, I used my old ass browsings in color six. This, I've seriously had this for like years. It's crusty. But it was right here, so I'm like, no, let's try it out. And it did just, it did the job. It's fine. So um, now for the eyes, I thought I was going to wear black, or yeah, I thought I was going to use black from the palette. But I don't know. I don't know. I might keep it more, like, more soft than dark. I don't know yet. We'll just, we're going to figure it out as we go. So I'm going to start, I think, with Demure, which is the shade right layer. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush that I use all the time for my starting shade, dip her in there, tap it off, and bust out my fancy mirror. And I do mean fancy, because we'll look at it. It's so cool. And not only does it, it's got 10 times magnifying up here, and then regular down here, or one times or whatever, one time. And oh, it's got a light. It's like your own little miniature ring light. It is so cute. And um, I'm gonna be talking about this later on in a different video, but for I just had to show it now because I'm using it. Anyway, so I'm gonna dip, and then I'm gonna fix these creases because I was talking too much again. All right, dipping into it, tapping it off, and just kind of pressing that into my lid, and then I will buff it around. Like so. Now I'll do that on the other eye and come back. Okay, um, now I think what I will do is take that man eater, that beautiful red down at the bottom and darken my crease. I don't know where I'm gonna go from there. So I'm just starting there. All right, I think I'm changing my mind again. I am going to use the black truffle and I'm going to go um, close to my lash line. I'm gonna start there. I might just darken up that whole corner. Let's see. <laughs> Let's just go and see what happens. Hmm. You know what, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. Smaller angled brush to try to control it a little bit more, I think. Oh, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. There, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna darken that whole corner. I think what I'll do is I'll stop here for now and then I will add, um, because I need to have my liner on um, for my magnetic lashes. So I'm gonna stop there, I'll do the line there and then it'll all bring it together. All right, now I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to, now I'm going to take that same brush. I just cleaned it off in my little swatch nonsense and I'm going to go back into that man eater um, with this more dense brush. It's going to shore up, shore up. 
again, I just can't speak. It's gonna show up brighter than I did in my crease, so I, I don't know what I'm gonna do there, but we'll figure it out again as we go. So I've got that red pigment on my brush. I'm going to press it into my lid on that black so I can try and blend those together. Um, by the way, black is very unforgiving. It, if you make a mistake, like, it's, wow. I wish this was, there we go, I'm getting there. I just feel like this looks kind of dull. You know what I mean? Okay, now I think what I'm going to do, maybe, oh, what should I do? Oh, what should I do? There isn't really a white. I kind of want to do... Mm, that'll be too much. Let's go with Doll Face, I think, which is this shade right here. And I think I'm going to do that on the inner corner. And then I'm going to top it definitely with some shimmer because I just feel like those colors are just blah, like dull. So I'm going to have to brighten it up with some sparkle. Again, I'm using that same dense brush that I use for the black and the red. I'm going to dip in a dull face and hope this doesn't just ruin everything. I mean, it's alright. Sometimes you just do a makeup look that, <laughs> well, when you don't know where you're going from the get-go, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Maybe this is one of those times. We'll find out when we put lashes on, because the lashes usually fix everything. Alrighty. Just something about it that I just don't like. But I'm not going to try and judge it until the end. Okay, so I think I'm going to put Pink Diamond. Oh, it's so pretty. Which is this shade right here. And, oh, hello camera. And then on the red... I will put Foline, which was that one right there. And I'm just gonna use my fingers for this, I think. Well, maybe not. I think I'll use this tiny little brush here and then I'll use some setting spray first and see how that shows up. And if it doesn't show up for crap, then I'm gonna use my finger. So BRB to get my setting spray. All right, so I'm going to start with Pink Diamond. I've already wetted my brush. Ooh, wow, holy crap. <laughs> I just barely, you can see that barely like dug my brush into that and it just that's a good sign for this hopefully it'll pack on pretty well oh ooh, she's pretty very pretty wow That just kind of covered up all the pink, didn't it? Let's try fling a little bit. You know what? I'm going to try on the back of my hand. Because if it is just going to cover up all the red, by the time it gets to the black, it'll just look kind of weird. Ooh, that's pretty. Going in ever so slightly. Maybe I won't go all the way in or cover the red completely, just like a touch. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I should have cut my crease. I didn't know that I was going to do all this, though. Oh, well. It's like a chunk on there. What? Do, where are you? And why are you here? And where are you going to go? Oh well, good enough. All right, now I think what I want to do, oh, see, I just feel like something's missing. So I'm going to go back in with my crease brush and I gotta add something. Something's gonna happen. You know what? I'm gonna drop my palette is what I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to, shit, I don't know. Maybe I'll take doll face? I don't know, what am I gonna do? I feel like, 
You know what? No, I'm gonna take Maneater. I'm gonna get my crease brush, get Maneater, and I'm gonna just darken up the crease. I'm just effing everything up. Alright, now I'm now that is done, I'm going to get some face makeup going and then I'll come back and finish my my lower lash line. And we're back. So um now I am Oh yeah, I'm gonna do my under eye. I haven't put anything on my lips yet either. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of deciding what I want to do there, but back to my eyes. I am going to, you know what, I'm gonna run that black right along my lash line first off, and then I may just take Demure and buff, use that to like blend it out. So let's try that. See, it's already looking better, is it not? I think it is. I hope it is. I hadn't even put any eyeliner on my waterline yet, which I always do. I think that's as far in as I'm going to go and I might do a shimmer like that pink shimmer. I might do that right there because that's really pretty. Or maybe I'll take bubbly, which is also another shimmer, but it's lighter. All right, next. This is usually the brush, I look really washed out. This is usually the brush that I use for my inner corner highlight, but since I'm gonna put color on it, I am gonna do my inner corner highlight right now. And then I'll use it to uh, buff out that bottom lash. Oh, by the way, this um, highlight, super pretty, I've been using it for a long time. This is Ofra in Star Island. I just love that. You know what, let's throw some right here. That'll blend out with my lipstick here in a moment. All right, now I'm going to take the same brush and dip into Demure, which is that first shade that I started with, and kind of buff out that black line, or smudge it out, as some say. may not look like it's doing much on camera, but it isn't real life, I promise. It's softening that line and then adding a little bit of depth underneath of it. Beautiful. All right, now I'm going to, you know what, I'll just use the same brush. And I'm going to pop bubbly on that lower inner corner, which is this one right here. It's kind of a champagne-y light shimmer. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that'll do. Maybe. You know what? Pink diamond it is. Mm. Maybe both. <laughs> yeah, both. I'm happy with that. All right, now um, I'm going to do my lips. I'm not gonna be able to do my mascara and everything right this moment. It's not gonna matter to you guys because you're gonna see it in the same time anyway. Because um, I have to do a live on with Glamnetics, so I'm going to wait until my live to put my lashes on and then I will come back, if you hear that noise, it is my dog. I will come back and show you the finished look after I'm done with my live. And if you haven't seen my lives before, make sure that you are, you are, make sure you um, clearly follow my page, like my page, turn those notifications on because I do have giveaways with most of my lives. Like I do Glamnetic, Wake Heart, um, Nectar, no, I've got quite a few. There's a few that we do giveaways on and discount codes while I'm live. So, but you have to be present during the live. So make sure you turn me your turn me notification on and it'll notify you when I do go live so you can check it out. All right, anyway, I'm going to finish my lips. <laughs> and for that, I'm going to mm, that one's too pink. Um I don't have a lot of lipsticks. I got rid of a bunch of them because I wasn't wearing them and they were old. But I do have these little sample things and I think that's what I'm going to not going to disclose company names yet because there is a video about this coming out. Ooh. That might work. Sorry, I'm matching it to my shirt. Yeah, that's the one, I think, anyway. So, oh, wrong mirror. And clearly I'm not a lip person. 
because I don't even have a lip liner that would go with this. Ooh, pretty. Little vixen. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And by the time, well, for you, it'll be a couple hours because I'm doing this on my lunch break. And um, then it, later on in this, uh, this afternoon, so hopefully this still looks as fresh. I'll have to put some setting spray on. <laughs> and hopefully that just holds up in, for the next like four or five hours. Yeah, hopefully. All right, so um, when I come back, I will be all done. It's like I'm a whole new person now, right? I've got my, <laughs> now that I have my lashes, I don't have any mascara on, but I do have my Glamnetic lashes on. Um, they are the style vibe. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to check those out. They're Glamnetic lashes, they are magnetic, and they, can't, they have a magnetic liner, and they're super, super easy to use. See, I had a feeling at the end of this, the lashes and the proper hair styling would um, complete the look, and I'm very happy with it. I really am. The one thing, I say that, I say I'm happy. The one thing that I have to critique is um, I did have to, it's been again four or five hours now, um, I did have to touch up the eyeshadow. It seemed to, it was like, it was like it, in the crease, it like, bro I can't say, well, I guess it did crease, but it didn't, yes, it creased. It like, it came out in the crease. The eyeshadow was like MIA in the crease and I used a primer. And how many times can I say the word crease in this video? But it, I did use the P. Louise primer, which I, I usually always use unless I use concealer, but P. Louise primer is like, it's wonderful. I've never had an issue with it. And this one just seems to, this shadow seems to separate. The shimmer doesn't, but the black shadow seems to separate. So I don't know if maybe that's the reason because black shadow is a little finicky and a little tricky. But anyway, that is the complete look using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered pal Palette. I had to think about what it was called because I don't have it in with me. I put it in my bathroom. Anyway, all right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, as always, let me know and I will get back to you. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.